Hey, it's me. Um, so the last two videos I believe I made on my webcam, but they turn out really bad. So I'm only going to be somewhat lazy and do it on this camera. Now I bought a new camera before I left and I think I told you guys about it, but the thing is, is that it takes such nice video that my computer has problems um, uploading them. So I'm just going to do it with this crapper camera for now because I, I don't know how to deal with the other camera. I have to get new software or something. So for now, I'll do this. Um, so today I'm going to be talking about Japanese school, which is very different. Um, but before I do that, I'm just going to update you guys a little bit. Um, today was insane. I got to school and um, my homeroom teacher came in and she said, Oh, um, um, everybody's really worried because um, the soccer team or the, the soccer club team thing, um, they went on some sort of outing for a couple of days and they all came back and they all had food poisoning. So that was bad. But then in the middle of my second class, which is home economics, um, the, all the teachers were called to a meeting and then they rushed back in and they're like, you have to leave, you have to leave. Um, apparently they found a bomb by my school. Um, it was like a bomb from during the war, so it was really old and they weren't sure whether it was active or not. And so um, they had to evacuate and so I got to go home early. And when I got home, my mama and I um, went to the bookstore and she bought me a magazine and it's really interesting. Anyway, so I'm going to be talking about Japanese school. Um, like I said, Japanese school is very, very different. Um, yeah, it's very different. Um, you probably, all of you know that we have to wear uniforms every day. Um, I'm probably going to make a separate video about that and uh, probably later because I'm not wearing my uniform and I don't want to put it on because it's really really hot and so I'll do that later but we have to wear uniforms every day um, my school starts a little later than my school in America but it ends way later so I have to get there at, to school by 8.20 and it ends around, around 3.40 so I don't really like the 340 thing. I want to go home because I'm so tired, but that's okay. Um, one thing that I've noticed is that during class, the kids are silent, very silent. In America, you know, it's like kids are throwing things and yelling and screaming and being super loud. But in Japan, it's no, 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 no. Um, also, like a teacher will like ask the class a question, like who knows the answer to this to this question, and whoosh, nobody raises their hand or anything. And if they do ever talk, it's like and like super quiet. And so I thought that's interesting. Um, another thing, um, the teachers change classrooms, and we don't. We stay in the same classroom, and. Um, so, sorry, 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 I'm really tired, so I like lose my train of thought all the time and forget everything. Um, so, 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 so. Oh, it, besides the classes like art and PE and home economics, those we switch classrooms for, but other than that, the teachers change classrooms. Um, our textbooks are way different. I have like a thousand textbooks physics, uh, Japanese, and they're all in Japanese as you can see, so it's all like that, and um, they're all really little, but I have 22 textbooks, I have 22 textbooks, and I have to bring like 10 of them every day, so it's kind of annoying, I don't like the textbooks, especially because I don't know what they say, but um, that's okay. Daijoubu. Daijoubu. Daijoubu means it's okay. Or like, no problem, no worries. Um, another thing. What is another thing? Oh, we eat lunch in the classroom, which I really like. I really like eating lunch in the, uh, 
but uh, I really like eating lunch in a classroom because like in America, it's like, okay, I finally got to the lunchroom, but bam, that's like, that takes like forever to get there, and like half your lunch gone. And so, I really like this, because it's, you just get to sit down and eat your lunch, right there. And everybody like, makes little circles with their desks, and we eat, and I really like it. Um, we, oh, the schedule is like different every day and that is kind of confusing but also sometimes they change it and I never know when they change it so it's like I bring the wrong textbooks a lot <laughs> but oh well and I was gonna say oh right 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 um we clean the cla- we we clean the classrooms and um so that's different. Everybody has like certain days, like you have to clean the classroom and then there's another place in school that you have to clean. So like um, on Wednesdays, I have to go and help clean up the gym, which only takes like five minutes. And we do it during lunch, so it's fine. And then on Fridays after school, I clean the classroom and we just like sweep and wipe down the desks. And it's really easy. Um, another thing, this is also on the note of just like keeping the school clean. Um, we change our shoes when we go inside. And like the shoes that we have to wear are like super dorky, but they're so comfortable. Oh my god, I love them. They're the best. They're like Asics, you know, the, the brand of shoe Asics. And um, they're that brand of shoe. And they're really, really bad looking, but they're super comfortable. So I really like wearing them. Um, we're not allowed to dye our hair. No, not allowed to wear makeup. Um, we can wear bracelets like this, but as long as they don't make noise, and yes, that is something they have to worry about because they have like the little jingle bell things on a lot of things, so that's something I have to worry about. If it makes noise, no. But yeah, no necklaces, uh, earrings, but bracelets, okay. Um... To get to school, I have to ride the bus and the subway. It takes me about an hour to get to school every day. I like walk three minutes to the bus stop, then I ride the bus for about 20 minutes, and then I ride the subway for about 20 minutes, and then um, I walk to school for about 20 minutes. So every day is a journey, which I really like. Okay, so I'm sorry, but something weird happened while I was making the video, and it cut part of it out, so I kind of have to do some crappy editing here and just add this part in. So as I was saying, it takes about an hour to get to school. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, almost fell over. Okay, repositioning the swivel chair equals scary. Anyway, um, one thing that I think is very interesting in Japanese schools is um, that whenever you pass a teacher, um, depending on the time of the day, you either say Ohayo gozaimasu and bow, or say konnichiwa and bow, and um, always in the hall. So teachers probably feel super famous because they're walking down the hall and everybody's like konnichiwa, konnichiwa. And so um, there's that. And one thing I really, really like is the fact that everybody's incredibly nice to each other. Um, you know, in America, it's like we have certain groups and cliques and they don't really talk to each other. But here, there are no groups or cliques. Everybody is friends with everybody. And, you know, if you want to join their group, you know, hang out with, with a group of kids, that's fine. They're so welcoming of it. Um, I think one thing that has to do with it, um, one of my teachers is telling me that my school is actually the top school in my city, and my city has about two and a half million people, so it's pretty big. It's a good, good school. And um, so, you know, it's just a group of really smart, intelligent, good kids. And so um, I think that might have something to do with it, but it seems here in Japan, people are genuinely nice, and I really, really enjoy that, you know? <laughs> it's really refreshing. Um, Americans are so rude when I think about it, my gosh. But, um, so that's something I find really interesting. Um, also, if you're a foreigner and you go to a Japanese high school, you instantly become famous. I know 
everybody loves me just because I'm foreign, but it's so weird. I'm so not used to that. In America, I mean, I have people like taking pictures with me and like, and, and they, oh, they, they pull my hair. They touch my hair because it's blonde. It's just like, my, my hair's naturally blonde and they think that's very interesting. My skin is a little bit lighter than theirs. Some of them have really light skin, but mine's definitely the lightest. I'm super white, but oh well. Um, also, if you speak any Japanese at all, they're like, your Japanese is so good. And it's like, nope. <laughs> and kawaii! They yell kawaii at everything you do. Like, I fell over, I was standing up, and then I tripped and I fell, and they were like, kawaii! And, and then they all immediately ran to my side to help me. And we had a sports festival, and I was sitting with my best friend, Tomoka. Tomoka is the sweetest girl, oh my god, I love her. She's so cute, oh my gosh, I love her. Um, like, every time, like, I look at her, she goes, <laughs> and makes this cute little face and I love her so much and she's the sweetest. But anyway, I was sitting with Tomoka and we were watching the sports festival and we were watching um, a basketball game. And um, we were sitting, you know, on the sidelines and just watching. And, you know, they're, they're running and the ball came over and it, like, landed next to me. And she's like, are you okay? And I was like, yeah, it didn't even hit me. I'm completely fine. But then, like, later they were playing basketball and um, you know, intense moment, uh, one of the guys fell on top of me, and she, like, grabbed me and took me and was, like, protecting me like that. Like, she's so sweet. And so everybody's, like, really nice and, um, super easy to make friends if you're foreigner. Or if, if, if you're foreigner. If you're foreigner. Ugh. English. If you are a foreigner. Um, the only thing that you... You know, some people just want to take pictures with you. Some people really want to be friends. And Tomoka, people like Tomoka want to be friends. So you have to kind of differentiate between the two. Um, or I don't even know. Did that sentence make sense? I don't know. You know what I mean. I'm sorry. English. Ugh. Um, oh. Again on the, you know, teacher going like that. Um... We bow before and after every class. Um, a person in the back will say kiritz, and that means like rise or stand up. And we go kyotsuke, and you go like that, you stand straight, and then they go re, and you go like that and bow. So that's interesting, respect is a very big thing here. And so, um, you know, we do that for um, every class. And. So that's about it for Japanese school. Um, I'm sorry. I'm sure there's more, but I'm so tired and I can't think about anything right now. So, um, yeah, if you have any questions or comments, comment down below, message me. Feel free to do any of that. If you have any ideas for a video you'd like me to make, please tell me because I really want, um, I really want you guys to enjoy my videos. Um, also, please don't forget to subscribe. Um, I really want to share my feelings and thoughts about Japan with the world, so please don't forget to subscribe because more videos will be on the way. Um, you know, I've only been here for two weeks and I already have a lot to say, so I think I'll be making, making quite a few videos. So um, my next video I think will either be about Japanese school uniforms or um, living with a Japanese host family. So, yes, until then, jane, which means, like, see you later. And they also say bye-bye, and it's really cute. So, bye-bye. Talk to you later.